Hey guys, what's going on? Happy May the 4th. It is Star Wars Day and the Kenobi trailer has dropped. Now if you guys haven't seen my first reaction, make sure you go back and check it out. I've been waiting for this show since before the Disney acquisition. Guys, I'm not in my normal studio. I don't have all my lights, but I don't care because I didn't want to wait until later to react to this. I love Star Wars. The prequels are like near and dear to my heart. I grew up with them. Revenge of the Sith is like my favorite movie. And I'm a Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen. Yes, Hayden Christensen fanboy. And I just want to jump in. I don't want to wait any longer. It's a little better there. Or we will not survive. Leave us alone. When the time comes, he must be trained. Like you trained his father. You still want Kenobi. He's gone. Nerd. Maybe you've been looking in the wrong places. I want every lowlife and bounty hunter to squeeze him. Chair wasn't squeaking too much. Guys, that was my reaction. I want to give you my quick thoughts so I can put this up as soon as possible. Uh, first few seconds, it was footage that we've seen before. But seeing, uh, I think Moses Ingram is her name. She's playing an Inquisitor. You can't run for this, Obi-Wan. And whoever was talking, someone was talking to somebody saying, You want Obi-Wan, but he's gone. I, want the, I can't imagine, <clears throat> sorry. I can't imagine someone talking to Vader that way. So it makes me think they were talking to her. Was her name Rava in this? Okay, I'm sorry, I can't remember. Um, I actually, I'm, tr I'm trying to kind of purge my mind of everything that I've seen so far. I haven't watched the first trailer. I've only watched it one other time since I've reacted to it because I really want to try to go into this fresh. It just seems really personal for her character. It's almost like they're borrowing elements from Jedi Fallen Order. And if that's the case, that is great. So basically, someone telling her that you want to find it, but you can't. The trailer at least makes it look like that she's that she's kind of obsessively hunting him and it's personal. So I'm wondering if maybe she knew him. Maybe she was a Padawan who became an Inquisitor. And we have shots of the medical droids putting Vader together, putting his arm on, and putting his chest plate on. And I was never really quite certain how it kind of just went directly into his chest. I mean, I knew it went into his chest when you read the books, you read all the other stuff. In Matt Stover's Revenge of the Sith novel, it talks about Vader being put together and things being directly hardwired into his chest. But it was just really eerie seeing it put together. That shot of Kenobi at the end. It just felt like, uh, it was like this look of sadness. It was like this look of sadness and like acceptance. I wouldn't be surprised if it was like a Vader moment at that point in time. We also saw Kenobi making heavy use of a blaster. So he's at a time in his life where he's obviously not using a saber. He's using a blaster. I bet when they pull the saber out, uh, it's going to be a while. It's going to be a great moment. We saw Joel Egerton's like old gravelly voice as Uncle Owen talking to Obi-Wan saying, get away from us. And Kenobi is like, oh no, you need to train him when the time is right. So I guess it's interesting to me that Kenobi is saying that at this point in the story. Obviously the way we were left in Revenge of the Sith, these children are the hope for the future. But from the things I've gathered, I kind of thought Obi-Wan was going to be really disillusioned with the whole Jedi. I don't know, maybe he's just carrying the torch. Guys, I'm super excited about Kenobi. May 27th, come back here because we're going to be reacting to it. I'm super excited. And I just want to get this up as soon as possible. So guys, happy May the 4th and we'll see you.